what is good? This is Daz Bones, back and better than ever, and I am with... Monkey D. Michael. And we are covering One Piece Chapter 1010. This chapter was titled Conqueror's Hockey. Certified stamped a 10 out of 10 after what we got, man. Just from the beginning, we wrapped up the, the big mom situation mm -hmm. in the first couple pages. We saw her flying off once Law and Eustace Kid knocked her off. And then we see her really having no help and, and nothing to stop her from falling into the ocean. Right. But Kaido gets involved after he deals with Luffy, and he is able to distract Zoro and Law long enough for Prometheus to make a run for it. Right, but Zoro so, also made sure to cut up Zeus as well. Yeah, he, he's been Which was kind of weird. Yeah, that, fl that flame slice was on full display, mm -hmm. but it just enough to distract him and to hurt him, but mm -hmm. not to take him out and to keep materializing and then return to I just to think like the weird thing to me was the fact that like you could see his body inside of kids like electrical box thing, you know? Yeah, Zeus was definitely getting all of his, he's getting all, he's losing all of his respect and clout even amongst Prometheus and Big Mom. Mm -hmm. They were just talking about how useless and worthless he's been lately. And Prometheus had a little idea that he uh, that was kind of foreshadowed before we switched phases and mm -hmm. like switched back perspectives to Luffy and, mm -hmm. and we see now that the the initial goal is back on and they're just trying to separate and they're they're not just here to, to try to trade blows right. because if they get into that battle Big Mom and Kaido this is an automatic L and Law mentions like Zora like based on the attacks that you just took like all of the bones in your body are probably just right. destroyed so like Zoro is really toughing it out and just showing everything that he has to offer here mm -hmm. after we see Kaido deal with Luffy he begins to shift his focus and that is when he displays a uh, Thunder Bagua, which is nice. Mm -hmm. But it's not enough to take him out, but it's definitely enough to, to damage him. Oh, yeah, and for sure. It, he's not down for the count, but him and Zoro are both kind of at a loss because Zoro is highly damaged. He, he reveals to Law that I'm kind of at my limit, man. The last thing I'm going to be able to deal out is this attack. Right. What? <laughs> I mean, let, let's just this, talk about how long it's been since we've seen Ashura, right? It has been like, 500 chapters since we saw 500 chapters? That's oh fun. God, That's so I'm messed just, up. Based on the dynamic we have had recently with Sanji and Zoro, I feel like this is just your time. To just go on your spiel of Zoro's greatness right now. What did he give us? I mean, first of all, we got to see that Cocker's uh, King Hockey. That was absolutely wonderful, and everybody got to sit there and watch it. There. There's two of these guys on the same crew? What? Yeah, like that like, was something that was foreshadowed all the way back mm -hmm. in Sabaudi Archipelago. He was like, you have the presence of somebody that's already a cat. How are you taking right? somebody else? Like, why are you? how are you letting somebody else take lead? And, it, and it's just, it's really about like Luffy and uh, Zoro's like just mutual respect for each other. They really like hold each other to that. Uh, higher end like and we even saw that in Punk Hazard when Zoro like was getting upset with Luffy because he was kind of almost like not taking it as seriously as it needed to be taken. He was time. he knew that the, the, the people that they're going to be facing, the adversaries coming up are going to be much higher mm -hmm. stakes. We don't have time to fool around no, with these crowns. And speaking of stakes to refocus, we're back in like in the heat of this exchange, Zoro deals out nine sword style mm -hmm. like Hell Haki. Like, I don't know if that was the official translation, like the, the proper translation, mm. because these are just the scans. But he left a deep cut on Kaido, like the, the vibe that you got from that attack. Yeah. It was like what you saw against Kaku and CP9. But I mean, even Kaido he, even acknowledged the fact that, hey, you're like at the very least, like you've wounded me, you're gonna leave a yeah, scar. You're gonna leave a scar. That's good enough for you. Mm -hmm. like, he reached his limit and couldn't really do much after that and was kind of just uh, a sitting duck and then oh, law yeah. comes in and tell like duck rolling over and then that's when he Kaido swoops in nah you know I'm not gonna even let you help chill mm -hmm. chill chill young man I'm, I'm gonna deal with you later and he gives him a nice thunder bible but after that Luffy finally makes his grandstand oh yeah Luffy he takes he awakens and we knew he wasn't down for the count mm -hmm. and when when Zoro deals out this Asher attack that's when Kaido references the fact that he has this confidence right like we had always been hinted and foreshadowed like Zoro seems like he's on that level. Mm -hmm. When is he just going to unleash it? He didn't open his eye like a lot of people. Uh, a lot I was of hoping the theories, so much but they're really not going to do it. I, I swear they just want to annoy us. But with Kaido <laughs> revealing that they that Zoro is mm -hmm. using his conqueror's hockey in his attack, 
act like that. That's all the recognition I feel like we need at this point. Oh yeah, for and sure. Then Luffy steps up. And he is, as we know, he's a battle genius, and mm -hmm. he's starting to figure out what Kaido has done in their previous encounters and how he's really getting the advantage. It, it honestly, it felt like uh, Luffy was the little brother, and like it was just kind of a game of I'm not touching you, mm -hmm. but it was just all hardcore. Touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. But man, after that, like Kaido, he tries to deal out another Thunder Bagua, mm -hmm. but Luffy responds quickly this time and he, he recognizes that, wait a second, are you coding your body in hockey? And that's how you took me out before. Right. It's not a observation hockey thing. It's not speed based. It's right. not a armament hockey thing. It's really just that King's hockey and mastering mm -hmm. that next level. And that's kind of what we saw in the Whitebeard and Roger class previously. Right. That's what we got a little bit of with Odin and Whitebeard and Odin and Kaido in the mm -hmm. past as well. And Luffy finally, with that kick, when he dodges Kaido's initial attack, we see some of that because they're let his mace and Luffy's foot don't touch right. at all. So you just see the shockwave right. and, and the level of just destructive force that both of them are packing. Right. They're two powerhouses going at it. And I love to see Luffy finally elevate to that level. Oh yeah, for sure. That's really what the, I feel like the, the Gart Fist of Love is all mm -hmm. about. Because he is, he's taking, he's elevating himself. He's saying, Zoro, Luffy, I mean, no, he's saying, Law, Zoro, let me handle this. Mm -hmm. like, I appreciate y'all holding it down for me while you did, but I am ready. I, I can really? handle this. Y'all go back to the bottom level. Y'all help them. This this is my fault. Right, he was like, you know, I was told that I will figure this out in adversity, mm -hmm. and y'all need to go. I figured out that adversity part. Mm -hmm. I'm here now to win, and I'm, I'm going to put some down. Yeah, Luffy wants all the smoke with Kaido, and Kaido is finally having to recognize him. Like, back in 1009, we were... We were talking about how he's choosing to dodge mm -hmm. Luffy's attacks instead of just straight up tanking him pre because he's seeing the, the the fast learning ability and the like the battle sense mm -hmm. that Luffy has. So I'm just looking forward to more of these clashes because before the chapter ended, he got off two clean shots on mm -hmm. him. So it's progressing, and Kaido knows that he can no longer take him lightly, just like oh, Katakuri was starting kind of back in and whole cake. So right. I am really looking forward to see where this this battle with Luffy and Kaido goes. Mm -hmm. What happens with the rest of the mid-tier straw hats like we know Zoro and Law are now going to the lower level? What's going to go on with Big Mom as she faces Killer? Like, is she going to come back up to the top yeah, or is like, she going to just be down at the bottom like I, fighting them? Fight yeah, like how are they going to aerially fight mm -hmm. her? Like, what is she going to dish out to really? Like, I'm looking forward to just seeing all these top tier oh, matches. Oh, man, it's going to be beautiful. Like, I can't man. wait. 1011, we know we're on break next week, but man, 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 this has been Daz Bones. And Monkey D. Michael. Look forward to more Rear Streamcast content because we will be funneling it out and you know the Lotus always blooms twice.